Today I want to talk to you about the top best affordable 55 plus communities. I went through our list of all of the affordable um, communities to live in in the Phoenix area and really most of Arizona. Um, we also have to factor in Tucson and some other places, but um, I've come up with three that I think are the best and I think you'll think they're the best if you're looking for an affordable 55 plus community. So let's get started and see what you think. Now keep in mind that this is just my opinion. Um, it's not some super scientific study that I did based on research from xyzwebsite.com. Um, I, I have come up with this just by sheer experience. My team and I are out there in the trenches every single day showing properties to you guys. And um, these are the three that we kind of think are the best for your money. So if you're looking for affordable, and when I say affordable, I'm thinking under $400,000 sales price. Now go ahead, leave me a comment. If you don't think 400,000 is affordable, I understand, but in our market, that is still considered affordable. When we have 55 plus areas now where the prices are into the two millions, um, for the luxury properties. Affordable is 400,000 and below. And you're gonna see from um, the info I have to give you that it's even more affordable than that. So don't click off just because I said 400,000. Um, if you don't agree, leave me a comment. If you do agree and you think this is a value, please leave me a comment. Here we go. Number three, that is going to be our bronze medal winner. Um, I would say that that would be Sun City West. Now the community of Sun City West is a little bit to the northwest of regular Sun City and is surrounded by a wall. It's not gated, so um, you know, don't get excited there. It's not gonna be guard gated or anything and that helps keep it affordable because guess what? Those guards need to be paid and the gates have to be maintained but it does have a nice wall around it. Now, Sun City West was built by Del Webb, the king of, of um, 55 plus areas as we know them today. There are about 16,000 homes there, and that includes the single family homes, the condos, the um, twin homes that we see, even those, those are kind of classified as condos because you don't own the ground, you own the home but um, 16,000 properties. So if you multiply that times two and subtract for those of us who are single, you've still got a good healthy area. Now in Sun City West, you will find four amazing rec centers, um, similar but all different. You're gonna find things like lots of clubs. You'll have ceramics workshop, an art center, a woodworking studio, auditoriums for big concerts and theater productions, ballrooms, lots of things like that. If you like to play pickleball, they've got that. If you like to play tennis, they have tennis. Then there are seven golf courses. There's also the Del Webb Banner Hospital right outside of the entrance of Sun City West. So if you need primary care all the way to oncology services, they have it there. And of course, a big, nice hospital, not just a little medical center, but a big legit hospital right there outside the gate of your neighborhood. So um, Sun City West has everything you need. The one unique thing that they have versus other areas is inside that wall area, they've got shopping. So for instance, you've got the Fry's Marketplace store, which is a big, really nice Kroger grocery store that um, if I'm out there, that's my choice over um, some of the other options outside of the Sun City West area. I'll even drive a little bit further from Sun City when I'm with my parents to go to that grocery store because it's the big marketplace store. 
but because it's inside of the neighborhood, you can drive your golf cart there. Golf carts um, can drive, or I should say golf cars, cart is what you use on, on the golf course, but a golf car is what you drive around on the roads. So you can drive it on the Sun City West streets because those are not major streets. The speed limit is only 35. So totally legal to drive to the grocery store, to see your eye doctor, to run to the dry cleaners. Now, housing costs are of course affordable. You're going to see homes in Sun City West that are going to start around the, the mid 300s and go up much, much higher. However, the affordable part comes in that there are quite a few homes under the $400,000 range. So I'm confident that if that is your price range and you're looking for a value, they're going to have it there. Now the rec center fees are a little bit different in Sun City West. They're just under $500 a year, but you're going to pay a fee for each person on title. So if there are two of you, then you've got two fees. But if you're in a part of the neighborhood with no HOA, still very affordable because that monthly fee is very, very low. And so I think it's 500 a year, really, it's probably like 494, 497. I get them all confused. But um, for just under 500 per person, that covers everything that you're going to do. Now, keep in mind, if you do a ceramic class or an art class, there might be a small fee for materials. But for things like going to the pool or the fitness center, that's all included in that rec center fee. So really nice value. I think this neighborhood is very nice um, for those of you who are still working, maybe you're not fully retired, it has easy access to the outside areas, um, especially if you wanna jump on the 303 kind of at the far north part of the area and you need to get somewhere to get to your job, super easy to access. So that's a big thing as more and more people decide to move here, they say, forget retirement. I'm, I've got a new job and I'm coming to Sun City West, it makes it really easy to get in and out of the neighborhood. Now, number two, the silver medal winner of our group here would be another Sun City, Sun City Grand. Now, its name is kind of a giveaway. It is very grand. When you drive through the entrance, I say entrance, I think it used to be gated, but it's no longer gated there. Um, you do have a, a grand feeling there. It's very, very nice. Um, you'll see lots of water. You see a big parkway as you enter, lots and lots of grass. You've got four golf courses in this area. So that's a lot of golf for uh, my super golfers. Again, same thing. You can buy a membership or you can pay as you go. Um, either way, still very affordable. So let's talk about home values in Sun City Grand. We do sell a good number of homes there. Generally, our clients are looking for something more affordable. They are going to start in the 350s and there are homes there for 1.2 million, which seems a little high for that area, but they're selling. So people do really like this area. The key to this and all affordable areas is to be at the lower end of the price range. It will really help you in maintaining your value and you're living in a super nice community while still on a budget. So I think that this is a great place where you can get in under 400,000 and take advantage of really a resort type feel and super luxurious amenities. This neighborhood proves to be a favorite for lots and lots of our clients who are looking in these price ranges. Okay, number one, numero uno, the OG of all 55 plus communities, it's Sun City. This is the original, original from 1960 when they started, um, 55 plus community um, developed and built by Dell Webb. So, um, I think there are about 27,000 homes that are single family. There are condos. There are also, of course, our beloved um, Gemini twin homes that share a roof and um, have an air gap between the walls. But 27,000 homes, that's a very big area. What does that do? It means that you have lots of people, which means more cool stuff. There are eight, count them, 
eight rec centers. Now, if you wanna to go to the rec center, they've got everything from, one of them has a bowling alley in it. They've got walking pools where you know you can walk around. My mom and, and dad go do that just to get some good exercise. They're not swimmers, but they do like to walk in the pool for their exercise. Um, they've got lap lanes. They've got um, water aerobics classes. They've got tennis, pickleball. Um, outdoor concerts, indoor concerts, shows, they even have um, a theater, you know. Um, there is so much going on activity-wise in this community. One of the reasons I chose it as number one is A, the sheer size, B, the number of affordable homes, and we'll talk about that in a second, and C, the crazy nice amenities that they have. You can go to any of the rec centers that you like. So if, if one has um, you know, better, a better gym or your friend goes to that gym, you can go there. Then the one closer to your house might have a, a ceramics class at, at a time that you like. You can go there for that. So you can visit all of them. Now Sun City has just one rec center fee per household. So a little better value there, especially for um, my YouTube family members that are on a super fixed income, that's really going to help your cost. You're gonna pay one fee, again, just under $500 and that will take care of all of your rec center fees for the year. Let's talk about home prices. The entry level is going to be the small condos, and they're true condos, but they're not a stack. They'll be stretched out in a line. So you've got kind of a park-like atmosphere, usually with a big lawn space in front of the units. Um, and the lowest I see right now is about 160,000, which is a really good deal because again, still using all those awesome amenities that the people at the higher prices are using. The Gemini Twin Homes are the next most affordable product and that is going to, you'll see some of those in the lower 200s, um, but the bulk are gonna be 250 to 350 still very affordable. On that product though, you do pay a little bit higher monthly dues. However, that includes all your trash service, your water bill, um, your insurance for the outside structure and your roof. Um, you would get a little, almost like a renter's policy for your personal um, stuff on the inside. And um, it includes all your exterior maintenance. So every seven years, they paint the outside of those homes. They also take care of roof replacement. So if you're thinking, gosh, I don't know if I should buy this house because I can't afford 15,000 for a new roof, that's a good product for you because you're just paying monthly. Let's say you've lived there three months and they're going to replace the roof it's taken care of. So you're not having to save aside money for those big long-term type projects. If your AC or your water heater go, then we're gonna hope that you had a home warranty to help you take care of that. But for the big structural things, those homes are all maintained. The ones that are grass have a lawn crew that come through every week or so and do all of the lawn maintenance. So you can kiss your lawnmower goodbye along with your snowblower, depending on where you live. Get rid of those things. You're not gonna need it here. Some of the other homes do have a rock front and backyard and they're gonna have a much lower monthly HOA. Just a matter of what your preference is. I have some clients who are grass people and other people who don't care. They're looking at what is the monthly cost. Then we get to the single family homes and those are going to start more in the lower 300s and, and go up, up, up. But with the highest being, I think maybe I've seen them in the sixes in Sun City proper, but not much higher than that. Um, the bulk are going to be under three, under 400,000, but three to 400, quite a nice selection those properties do not have any HOA dues. So that's an amazing thing. I have a lot of people who say, oh, I hate the HOA. You're still gonna have some control, but it's light control coming from overall Sun City, but you're not gonna have um, a monthly HOA fee if you don't want one. If you want the month monthly HOA and that oversight, then maybe some of the twin homes might be better. Now, let's go back to the size of Sun City. It is big, seven miles long by three miles wide. It's bordered 
um, kind of on the north and then to the south, kind of at an angle, is Grant Avenue. The, the top north street is Bell Road. So those are two major roads. Um, pros and cons though, um, the pro is you've got tons of businesses up and down those roads. The only real con that I see is that you're not gonna be driving your golf cart on those roads because you can't. The speed limits are high. Now you can cut across if you're getting from your house to your friend's house or a rec center on the other side of Bell, super easy. You can cut across on one of the um, regular streets. So don't think that you can't drive a golf cart anywhere. People are everywhere in, in their golf carts there. And again, I keep saying cart, it's car, golf car, golf car. I, I can't seem to get that out of my head too many years of riding in golf carts on the golf course. But anyway, you guys know what I mean. Sun City is not totally walled like Sun City West. It has some parts that are walled and you know when you hit the Sun City area because the wall begins, but it, it, it um, does not surround the entire area or anything like Sun City West does where your grocery store is inside the wall. So if that matters to you and some people like it, some people don't really care, then um, Sun City proper might not be your number one area. But again, um, this is uh, my number one pick be just because of the, the size, the affordability, and oh my gosh, eight rec centers. You'll be very, very busy and uh, you, know, you don't have to pay a lot for your home. So for those of you who are um, on a fixed income or you just wanna keep money free so you can go do other things and have fun, any of these three neighborhoods would be fabulous for you. I chose them because they appeal to the widest variety of our client base. Now, there are plenty of other small affordable areas scattered throughout our um, city, and especially in Tucson, if you really want more affordable and you want a little cooler weather, we'll be bringing some of those videos on here in the coming weeks. But for now, these are the top three best affordable areas that we came up with that our clients also love. So if you think you're in this category or if you're looking for something else, maybe you've watched a bunch of my other videos, either way, please reach out to me at the number or email below on the screen. Let's set a time to do a Zoom so that I can meet you guys um, live. I know you watch me, but I'd like to know who you are. And let's talk about your needs. If you're coming for a house hunting trip, please, please call me early because we are booking up several months ahead. If you're coming next week, um, don't think that we can't accommodate you. We can usually move some things around, but I just like to have as much notice so we can really give you the best grand tour of our different areas. So let's talk soon and keep watching my videos.